An off width crack is a crack that's too wide for a good fist jam, but not wide enough to get your whole body in and climb like a chimney. So off width techniques generally involve twisting something into that crack, whether it's an arm or a leg. People tend to fear and avoid off widths because they seem hard and painful. And when you get into high end, more difficult off widths, they are. But you need to be able to climb easy and moderate off widths in order to go do long routes in the mountains. There's going to be a pitch of wide crack somewhere on most of those big long routes. So you need to learn a few basic off width climbing techniques to get you up those routes. You don't have to pursue the harder off widths. But uh, here are the techniques that I rely on to get me up those wide cracks that I need to get up. Starting with the hands. Um, too wide for fists, but sometimes you can stack a fist and a hand like so. Notice that I am stacking the fist so that the thumb side is going to contact the rock. That's meatier and, and less prone to getting shredded than the pinky side. Same thing with the hand. I'm coming around here and putting it like this so that the palm will make contact. I'm not stacking like this because I don't want to shred the bony side of my hand. So that's a teacup jam or a hand fist stack. You can do a fist stack and I'm ideally crossing my fists so that the stronger side, the meatier side makes contact. But this works okay as well. What you really don't want to do is a stack where you're using the outside of, of your hand. This or this would be a fist stack. I don't find myself stacking that often. This would be for like a straight in splitter off width. Maybe you're in Indian Creek and it's a clean face with just a splitter crack in it. Here in Joshua Tree, most off widths are in the back of flares. So I'm turning my body sideways and I'm actually getting half my body into the flare and I'm relying much more than stacks on arm bars and chicken wings. So an arm bar, I'm reaching in with my hand and I'm pushing that way with the palm and that way with the elbow. And I can slot an arm bar and sit on it and walk it all the way down to my waist. Arm bars are great. A chicken wing is a variation on an arm bar where you go in elbow first, but again, you're pushing one way with the palm and the other way with the elbow. I'm hanging on a chicken wing. So my elbow's pushing that way and my palm's pushing that way and I can hang on this. Uh, the problem always in wide crack climbing isn't staying in one place, it's making progress. So I'm going to get a heel toe really firmly established that I can stand on. Stick the other foot in and twist. Now I can stand on my feet and I want to move that chicken wing. So I'm just going to brace myself with the other hand real quick. Boom and move it. Now it's an arm bar. I can brace myself with the other arm too. The arm bar is similar to the chicken wing, elbow pushing one way, palm pushing the other. But unlike the chicken wing, I can work the arm bar down to waist level. I can get up over it so I can start pushing down on it, which is nice. There. You can actually sit on an arm bar. Woo! Now I'm able to get in and chimney. So I've finished the off width. Now I can wedge myself in and climb it like a chimney. This short wide crack has a steep move right off the ground. I need to be able to reach above my head and pull. So I'm gonna try a hand stack. In this case, a hand fist stack, also known as a teacup jam. So I'm putting the hand palm side against the rock. I don't wanna shred my knuckles. And I'm taking the fist and slotting it in there just like a normal fist jam. I'm essentially using this hand to narrow the crack and then just jamming between my hand on one side and the rock on the other. So I am mostly hanging on my right hand, the hand that's in the fist here. And now I can high step with that left foot, pull on that stack and get my body up over that left foot. Then I have to figure out what to do, right? I've got both hands engaged, but I want to move. So I got to get my weight centered on that foot. So I'm up on my foot to the point where I can just have one hand braced. And now I can reach in for an arm bar and I'm ready to go. I can slot a heel toe and start climbing past. Here's a spot where clearly I'm totally braced with my feet, but let's say I want to try and find a handhold to make upward progress. This is wide enough for the old fist stack. Look at that. I can pull on that. Now notice I've got one hand palm up and the other hand palm down. That's just because I'm left side in. If I try to go more of like a standard fist stack orientation, now I need to turn my body square to the rock, which in this case, because of what I'm doing with my feet, I'm sideways. So remember that when you go to try stacking, there are a lot of different orientations that could work. And as long as you're not shredding your knuckles, 
anything goes. <laughs> anything goes in a wide crack. You just get in there and struggle. Since it's too big for a fist jam, an off-width crack is probably going to be too big to just jam a knee or a foot straight in, but that's worth trying. If you can stick your foot farther back in the crack and just get a straight in foot jam, that might be your best bet. Otherwise, you're going to have to start twisting and using other techniques. The leg bar is just like the arm bar in the sense that you are using your foot to push one way and your knee or your hip to push the other way, barring your leg, just your lower leg or your entire leg in the crack. The very best technique in an off width, in my opinion, my favorite, would be the heel toe jam, where you're going to set your foot across the crack with your heel resting on one side and your toe resting on the other side. A little constriction in the crack is nice because you can just stand on it with that heel toe jam. And then if it's a little wider than that, you could try a foot stack where you've got one foot on one side and then the toe of the other foot contacting the other side. The heel toe jam is your best friend in these flaring wide cracks. My right foot, heel against one side, toe against the other, is so locked in there I can stand on it with all my weight. So that's my resting hold. I bring that heel toe up, lock it in, and now I can move everything else. There goes the other foot. Move my arms up a little bit. I got an arm bar up here. And now I can bring that heel toe up and slot it in there, stand on it, move everything else a little bit there that's a nice heel toe move everything else and then move the heel toe